On today's episode of Atomic TV, we have News Flash, Club Updates, and GSA Club Info. All that and more, come up next. Hi Bombers, I'm Nina. And I'm Mason, and welcome back to Atomic TV. June is Pride Month. Here are some students talking about how GSA Club supports RHS. Hi Bombers, it's Nina here with Sage and Dew members of the GSA club. So what exactly is the GSA club? Uh, GSA is the Gender Sexuality uh, Alliance Club and we do lots of icebreaker activities to get to know each other and we talk and plan for what we are going to do for our next meetings and what we're going to do for this upcoming Pride. Okay, perfect. And where exactly is the GSA club held? Uh, we meet every one lunch Friday in room 3218, so in the MAC hall. And uh, in case there isn't a meeting or we need to make one up, Ms. Sweetsma does have uh, a remind for us that we're all on so we know if we're going to be meeting that week or not. And we'll meet after school sometimes for certain events or to like make up for days we might have missed. All right. And what exactly are you guys planning for next month? Because next month is Pride Month. So what exactly is planned? Um, we're hoping to try and do, we'll try to wait, raise more awareness and um, Possibly a walk around Pride like that uh, had happened uh, sometime in last year, I believe. Yeah. We only have two meetings left this year, so we're hoping to get something planned out. Thank you so much for your time, mm -hmm. and now back to the studio. Let's head over to Luke and Charlie for News Flash. What's up, Bombers? I'm Charlie. And I'm Luke. And welcome to your final installment of News Flash. A 95-year-old Australian woman died Wednesday, a week after a police officer shot her with a stun gun in a nursing home as she moved toward him using a walker and carrying a steak knife. In a tragedy that has outraged many Australians, Claire Nolan, who had dementia, had been hospitalized in South Wales. The charges on the police officer are likely to be upgraded following her death. A 64-year-old Chicago woman was beaten while struggling with a gunman who stole her French bulldog. The value of French bulldogs, a breed that can run into the thousands of dollars, makes them a target in thefts. A 37-year-old has been sentenced to over 12 years of federal prison after being caught with plans to distribute fentanyl in the Tri-Cities. The indi individual is noticed by the DEA Tri-Cities and Tri-City Metro Drug Task Force as a supplier in the Tri-City Drug Trafficking Organizations. He was arrested in July of 2022, agreeing to sell a pound of meth and fentanyl laced pills to his source. That's, That's it, it for your news slash bombers. bombers. Now back, back to the studio. studio. If you weren't able to get a yearbook after school yesterday, you can go to Miss Markinson's room during both lunches or after school to get yours. Have, Have a great, great week, week bombers. bombers. Now, now please stand, stand for the pledge. pledge.